Hallelujah. Amen. I told you at the beginning, you must be sure. You must be sure that you are going to heaven. You must be sure. And if you feel a doubt in you, then there is some work for you to do. Because that is an assurance given to us by the Holy Spirit. And there is no doubt about it. So as for me, I'm sure. That's why I want to I want him to come to come as as fast as yesterday. That's how much I desire to go. At Pola Kasema Kuishi. Kuishi ni Kuishi ni fai na kufa. Eh, kufa ni faida. <laughs> Kuishi ni matunda. Bwana asifiwe. Kuishi tunaishi kwa sababu ya watu. Eh, tukifa tunakufa kwenda kuwa na Bwana Yesu. Are you aware that you kunaishi kwa sababu ya watu? Uh, where you are now, you are living because of the people, not because of yourself. Like me, our family, right? So I have to make sure they survive. <laughs> make sure they eat, make sure they eat. My departure has a reduced to street children, street people. So I have to live for them. Also, those people who will receive the gospel through me, I'm living because of them. I have to preach to them. So, I cease to living for myself. I'm living for people. And uh, <clears throat> so that's why Paul Akasema Kufa and Fight. You go to rest in the bosom of him who liveth forever. Buana Sifiwe. Buana Abiwe Sifu. So, who will go to hell? <clears throat> so that Naina be good. So Naina be good. People fear this thing. May I tell you, you receive what you confess. What you don't confess, you don't receive. You receive what you confess. So every time I say I'm going to heaven, I'm going to heaven. Louisa, what you it? How many of you are going to heaven? They kept quiet. They looked at me as though I was wishing them dead. <laughs> So I changed my language in Kasema, Ata ukiishi miyaka miyambi. How many of you are going to heaven? And you have to come on a wikina wana chomua mikono. Because I changed the language. Ata ukiishi miyaka miyambi. People want to hear that they live long. But you know, it will be useless for you to live long, then eventually you end up in fire. So you better live short and go to heaven. Isn't you? Bwana Sifiwe. Hallelujah. Amen. What is hell? Hell has many names. Isn't you? It has many names. One of the names is Lake of Fire. Lake of Fire is one name. The book of Revelation, chapter 19, verse 20. And just read that verse. Then the beast was captured, and with him the false prophet who worked signs in his presence, by which he deceived those who received the mark of the beast and those who worshipped his image. These two were cast alive into the lake of fire burning with brimstone. So it's called a lake of fire. Ziwa la moto. So I don't like Ziwa la moto. Wakalo kwa moto na kiberiti. So I don't like kiberiti. Kigereza kinaita brimstone. That's a lake of fire. So... <clears throat> Those people, those, the, the beast, that's the wicked one, 
And those false prophets were cast into the lake of fire. Lake of fire. That's hell is also referred to as second death. Second death. What is death? Death is eternal separation. The second death is eternal separation between God and man who will have sin. That's the second death. Eternal separation. So you separate from God forever. These people will be cast into hell are, are said to experience a second death. And that second death, death is ex eternal separation from God. Because they did serve him when they were alive. They never served him. They disobeyed him. These are the people who will be separated from God. When as if you. And I say, my but the cowardly, the cowardly, the unbelieving, the abominable, the murderers, the sexually immoral, the sorcerers, the idolaters, and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burns with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. So that these people will be separated from God eternally. Millen, they'll be separated. They'll never be near God. Hell is a place of torment. Torment in fires. There are fire images in hell. Naitwa lake of fire is a place of torment. Mahali ambapo watu wataungua na kuteseka milele na milele. Bwana asifiwe. Who is going there? Nani huyu anataka kwenda kule? Mahali ambapo utateseka milele na milele. Katika moto. Isaiah 66 verse 24 inasema hivi verse 24 And they shall go forth and look upon the corpses of the men who have transgressed against me for their their war does not die and their fire is not quenched they shall be an abhorrence to all flesh their fire is not quenched. That fire will not be quenched. The fire of hell cannot be quenched. It's a place of torment, a place of suffering, a place where many people who disobeyed God will suffer. Those cowardly, those sorcerers, those who practice sorcery, wali jaribu kuingia katika unchawi na ugafu, these people will suffer in the hellfire. Amen. Matthew 3, verse 12, in a seven. His winnowing fat is in his hand, and he will thoroughly clean out his threshing floor and gather his wheat into the barn. But he will burn up the chaff with a quenchable fire. He will burn up the chaff with a quenchable fire. So the righteous people are like the wheat which will, which will be gathered and put in the barn. But the unholy people, the unrighteous people, are like the chaff which will be burned with a quenchable fire. These are people who disobey the commands of God. They don't follow what God says. But as if you, Amen. Who is among these people? Who is that? That is among these people. Chapter 5, verse 22, it says, But I say to you that whoever is angry with his brother without a cause shall be in danger of judgment. And Whoever says to his brother Raka shall be in danger of the council. But whoever says, 
you fool shall be danger of hellfire. So it is being narrowed down. You say to your brother Raka, Raka is a, a word meaning big, uh, a, man, a word that utters a curse to somebody. That is that is the that is Raka. Alafu, you, you say to your brother, you, you fool. When you say you fool, you shall be in danger of hellfire. What is the Lord saying? These people who do not have discipline with their lips. They don't have discipline in their lips. They can't say anything against anybody. These people are in danger of hellfire. They shall be thrown into the lake of fire. as if you. So why do we want to go to hell? We need to take a lot of care with what we say, with what we do. Because by what we say, we shall be judged. By what we do, we shall be judged. And you'll be judged to get into the kingdom of God or into hell. I want to say, Hakuna jia, Hakuna mbili mbili, Hakuna kui, Hakuna kuwa kui. You are either this way or that way. Na wani tulikuwa tunaimba wimbo, Nikuwa nasikia waimbaji wakini. Njua nini itamani kuwa muimbaji, Lakini mungu hakuni, Hakuni patia yu karamu. Itamani sana kuwa muimbaji. Kini mungu wakasema no. Weo, nafanyo upande huu. Lakini zamani likuwa nasikia na kisema, watu wa kiba kisema, Changanya, 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 Yesu wa pendi, changanya. And you know the scripture somewhere, inasema usibaye mkua ya madoa doa. Aya, naona madoa doa. Are you aware? Biblia inasema vizuri Usibaye mbuwa ya madoa doa Usibaye mbuwa ambayo meshonwa Na ina mbili ya matilio Kwa mfano koto ni mechanganyo na line Kama ni koto ni koto Kama ni line ni line Are you aware that it is in the script? Aya Ato ataanza kushona mbuwa tofauti Bwana asifiwe Nema ilishuka that's why we are the way we are. But if you read, it is there. Hata watu wanapanda mbegu wa inabili kwa shamba moji. Yile inasema tono. Are you there? Sikuisi tunangombe za grade. Tulichanganya ngombe ya exotic na African zebu. Tukachanganya. Gwode inasema don't. We have done terrible things. Terrible things. That we deserve here. So some of us will go to heaven, we shall go to heaven by the grace of God. By the grace of God. Well, as if you it's not by your deeds, not by your energy, not by your goodness, but by the grace of God, we shall go to heaven. Well, as if you So if you know it's by the grace, take that grace seriously and avoid what the scripture says you should avoid. Avoid idle talk. Careless talk against your brother and your sister. Avoid that careless talk. Because Jesus says, whoever says to his brother, you fool, is in danger of hellfire. This is careless talk against your brother, against your sister. That's what the Lord God is saying. So, who is going to hell? What has he viewed? Who is this that is going to hell? Chapter 13 of Matthew, verse 37. Are you there? Yes. I want to finish there. I'll continue later on in the future. Amen. <laughs>
It's a very interesting lesson. When I was studying it, it is very interesting. When you think, I'm going to heaven, that's when you are really on the way to hell. <laughs> it's very strange. Very strange. <clears throat> when you jump up and tell people, I'm going to heaven, that's when really you are saying, I'm going to hell. It's a wonderful study. Wonderful study. Well, as if you will. Amen. Verse 37 and 7. He, and he answered and said to them, He who sows the good seeds is the Son of God. Now Jesus is interpreting a parable he had given. So he says, He who sows a good seed is the Son of God, of man. The field is the world. The good seeds are the sons of the kingdom, but the tares are the sons of the wicked one. The enemy who sows them is the devil. The harvest is the end of the age, and the reapers are the angels. Therefore, as the tares are gathered and burned in the fire, so will he So it will be at the end of the age, at the end of this age, the Son of Man will send out his angels and they will gather out all his kingdom, all his kingdom, all things that of faith, and those who practice lawlessness, and will cast them into the furnace of fire. There will be wailing and gnashing of teeth. There will be wailing and gnashing of teeth. Gnashing of teeth. So I can eat a kusaga man. Kariya na takuwa na kuriya na kusaga man. So the tears, yah, magugu. Those are the tears. The wheat. God, the wheat are the sons of God. The tares are the sons of the wicked one. The harvest is the end of the age. So when Jesus comes, he will send forth his angels to gather all those who disobeyed, those lawless people, those unrighteous people. He will gather them together and he will cast them into the furnace of fire, there will be wailing and gnashing of teeth forever. So whose son are you? You ask yourself a question. I ask myself a question. Whose son am I? Am I the son of the kingdom or the son of the wicked one? Because the sons of the wicked one will be cast into the furnace of fire. These are the people going to hell. The sons of the wicked one. And Jesus talked about hell. Therefore, if Jesus talked about hell, then hell is real. So do you want to go to hell? Do you want to go to heaven? Then we need to seek God to give us wisdom to live on this earth wisely. Because many people have lived carelessly and they have turned themselves into the sons of the wicked one. And therefore, they are prepared for hellfire. I want to urge all of us to live wisely on this earth because Jesus is coming. Let us ask God to give us the wisdom to live wisely on this earth. Weigh out what you do, what you say. Weigh out. Do everything wisely because the Son of God is coming to take up all those who are righteous to go and rest. With him. Buenas if you. Buenas if you.
I want to stop there for today. This lesson is interesting. I want to teach it in good time. Poly poly. So as we leave the church today and go back to where we are going to rest, I urge us to continually pray God to give us wisdom so as to live on this earth wisely because the Son of God is coming very soon. Is coming. Well, we don't know how soon is soon, but the scripture says he's coming soon. When he comes, shall he find faith in you? Shall he find you waiting eagerly for him? Shall you shall he find you worthy to inherit to inherit the kingdom of heaven? Because when he comes, we shall meet him in the clouds. But the angels shall gather all the wicked, all the children, the sons of the wicked one. And they shall be cast into the furnace of fire. My dear brother and sister, God loves you jealously. And he does not want any of us to perish. And that's why he keeps warning us, keeps directing us, keeps showing us the way that we should go keep speaking to us and reminding us of the things we were told that he is coming. Buon as if you will. as if you will. Hell is real. People be cast into hell. Shall you be cast into hell? Let us rise up. Ajatu Smart, Seme Omelet La Mission. We shall learn more later on. Bye. 
because you are God in our lives and you are a powerful God God who speaks in us and God who shows up God who reveals himself in our lives today and forever Lord we thank you because your spirit speaks to us in a wonderful way, in a glorious way Lord we pray in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, the Savior the Healer, the Deliverer, the Mighty One the God who speaks in us Lord we stand before you, your children, whom you have appointed on the face of the earth, Lord Jesus, that may do your will. And we pray today, Lord, we are asking for the wisdom from the throne of grace, the wisdom of God, that, Lord, as we live on the face of the earth, Lord Jesus, we shall live wisely, we shall live wisely. We shall not wander from righteousness. We shall not wander away from righteousness, Lord. We shall not wander away from holiness. But, Lord, the wisdom will keep us to righteousness. Your wisdom will keep us to holiness. The Lord Jesus Christ, we shall live wisely on the face of the earth as long as we live. Father, we open our hearts unto you today and we pray. Father, come and take control of our minds, take control of our souls, take control of our thoughts, Lord Jesus Christ. We are your children and we are asking you, we are asking you to give us the wisdom, we are asking you to give us the knowledge, oh Lord, that as we live on the face of the earth, Lord Jesus, we shall live according to the will of the Father. Lord, we shall follow you every day, 
as long as we live on the face of the earth, Lord Jesus. We pray today, O oh dear Lord Jesus Christ. Touch your people, O oh dear Lord. We ask you today, Lord. Come on. Touch your children, Lord Jesus Christ. Grant them the wisdom that they need. Grant them the wisdom, Lord Jesus Christ. That you may do your will every day. And every time, whatever we go. Lord Jesus Christ, I pray today. And that times we are overwhelmed by evolution. We are overwhelmed by the world, oh Lord Jesus. We pray for your wisdom, Lord Jesus Christ. We pray for your strength, oh Lord. That everywhere we go, Lord Jesus Christ, your power shall go with us. Your wisdom shall go with us. You are strength, Lord Jesus, to withstand every kind of opposition. Lord, we pray, give us that wisdom. Give us that strength that we shall withstand every opposition. Lord, we give you praise, Lord, come and Allah. We worship you, Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you for your children, Lord. Heal the sick in our midst. Set the captives free. Deliver all that are bound. Lift up the downtrodden. Lord Jesus Christ, we call upon thee. Lord, come and bring my Father, come, oh dear Lord, and do a great thing, a mighty thing. We shall give you praise and glory. We honor you, mighty one of Israel. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Father in heaven. We glorify you. We worship you. We adore you. We lift up your name. We say you are gracious and glorious because you chose us. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus. As we part from this place, Lord Jesus, we pray that the Spirit of God will go with us wherever we go. And whatever we do, Lord Jesus, as long as we live on the face of the earth, Lord, we are asking that the Spirit of God will guide our footsteps, will guide our tongues. And we shall not utter idle words that will put us to judgment. But Lord, we shall utter words that will bring us to holiness and to righteousness and bring us before God. We ask you, dear Lord. We are human beings who are weak every time. Every time we fail, oh dear Father, I ask you today, oh Jesus, strengthen us, Lord. Strengthen us, Lord Jesus. Strengthen us, Allah Kushim. Strengthen our hearts, Lord. Strengthen our minds. Strengthen us, Lord Jesus Christ, that we may withstand the any stress put on us, Lord. Father, we pray. Even when the wicked one rises up against us, Lord, we pray for your strength to withstand. We pray for your strength to withstand. That you may withstand, Lord. We shall honor you. We shall glorify you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Be with us now and forever. Guide us, Lord Jesus. Father, we need you. We need you, Lord Jesus. For we can do nothing without you. We can do nothing without you. Without you, we can do absolutely nothing. Nothing absolutely. We need you, Lord Jesus. We need you in our lives. We need you, Lord Jesus, to guide us. We need you to show us the way. Father, we need you to open our eyes, Lord, that we shall be able to see what is ahead of us. Lord, we shall be able to see what you desire us to see. We pray today, Lord Jesus. Father, in our weakness, we ask you, strengthen us, dear Lord. Strengthen us, Lord Jesus. Strengthen our hearts, strengthen our minds. Strengthen us to think about you, to meditate on you, Lord God. Father, you are mighty and glorious. You are God in us. You are our Father. We worship you, Lord Jesus. We worship you. Sing it from your heart. Sing it unto you. Sing it unto the Father. Hakuna Mungu kama wewe Hakuna Popote Hakuna Oh, 
Strengthen our souls, Lord, to stand for righteousness, to stand in holiness, Lord, to stand in the paths of righteousness, and to move in the paths of righteousness. We pray today, King of Kings, we are calling upon Thee, Lord Jesus. Hear our plea today. In the world today, Lord Jesus, Lord, we are asking You, strengthen us. Strengthen us, Lord Jesus Christ. Let me walk in Your paths. Let me follow You. We worship you, Lord Jesus. We thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. We commit every need in our lives in your hands, Lord. We are asking for your interventions. We are asking for your divine interventions. Those who have different needs, Lord, we pray, provide for them. We are asking for financial provisions. We are asking for material provisions. We are asking for healings. Lord Jesus, into our bodies. We are asking for deliverance in our lives. Deliver us, Lord Jesus, from any demon possession. Lord, deliver us, Lord. Deliver us from any part of Leko Shiba. Father, I pray, deliver us from demonic possession. Deliver your people. Set them free, because you are God. Lord Jesus Christ, set free your people. Lord, deliver your people. We are asking, Lord Jesus, to touch us now. And Lord, we shall glorify you and we shall worship you and we shall give you praise. Because you are our Father. We love you, we bless you. We glorify you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, my Lord of Israel. We lift up your name. As we part from this service this afternoon, we are asking for your divine presence in our lives. Father, protect us from any attacks of the evil one. Protect us from danger. Protect us from any plans of the wicked one. And Father, give us victory. Victory from now and forever. We shall give you praise. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit with us now and forevermore.